Jay Hogan and Jeff Meacham with episode number two. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Offering side insanity. And Staggerly is here and he's gone. Just like that. He's like a cat. He's just, just that quick. It's crazy. Alright, well, here he comes again. <laughs> I need my water. <laughs> okay. Bye. You got it? You good? Uh, okay, wonderful. <laughs> All right, good. All right, we have a lot to cover. We've been gone a long time. We've been gone almost three since months since New, New Year's. Year's. Since New Year's, we've got nice questions catchy. from you. The steroid scandal in WWE. That's the talk of the week. Um, names implicated, including Edge, uh, Randy Orton, Gregory Helms, and I'm being treated like she's my mother now. Sorry, it was bugging me now. That's okay. Because I could see it, but no one else. Gregory Helms, <laughs> Edge, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio. Uh, who else was named in that steroid scandal, Aaron? Um, I'm not really sure. Masterpiece or no? The Masterpiece is probably one of them. He wasn't named by name on the article. <laughs> but, um, the thing is... Oh, Eddie Guerrero was one of the names, too. The thing is, it happened before the wellness policy was established, and WWE made that very clear, and... Are they stopping the... Smoky Smoky? Uh, probably not. But no, no. This is this is, this is all about steroids and the fact that the guys are using steroids. But they were using them for medicinal purposes. Uh, both Helms and Edge posted m blogs on MySpace about it. Um, I don't have them in front of me because my internet connection is not here. And because um, I left it at home. And yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know exactly what, what's going to happen. I really think that, um, I really think that WWE's going to be okay. They're not going to, you know, have any problems with this. It's just, it's just, you know, people stirring the rumor mill. It's just people stirring shit, basically. So, thank you for the question, Peter. Next one is, what match should be the true main event at WrestleMania? Taker versus Batista or the Battle of the Billionaires? Taker. Taker and Batista. Undertaker won the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble winner is always supposed to be in the main event, and it's a world championship match. The Battle of the Billionaires is strictly for show. The Battle of the Billionaires is strictly so Donald Trump can get over and, and Vincent Mann can get his bald head on camera. That's exactly what it is. But so. Wasn't Matista? Matista, wow. <laughs> Mysterio and... Mysterio, Angle, and Orton last year was not the main event because it didn't have the, the star power of John Cena versus Triple H. Okay, but he was the winner of the Rumble. That's right, he should have been, but... The winner of the Rumble lost his title shot to Orton at No Way Out. So technically, mm -hmm. Orton wouldn't have been the main event because he didn't win the Rumble. And then they put Mysterio back into that match. Remember Teddy Long put Mysterio back into the title picture. So he really didn't lose his main event spot. Well, he did by losing to Orton and by Orton cheating. So the whole dynamics of WrestleMania changed after that. Got it. Got it. All right. Thank you, Peter. The next one is from Hail Shane. I don't know why I did the Nazi yeah, salute. What? Sorry. Sorry, wait. <laughs> Is this Hail Shane? I haven't right heard there? that so long. Hail <laughs> Shane. Hey guys, how you doing, Whole Ball as well? What do you think TNA needs to do to get a bigger fan base as apart from firing Russo and getting the two hour time slot? Okay, first of all, they're not going to fire Russo because Russo is proven to, uh, to be a success and they brought him back for a reason. Two hour time slot, I agree. They need two hours to fill because one hour, it just seems too cramped. They need to have two hours. They need to showcase more people. Like Jay said, they need to get better wrestlers. They need to showcase more wrestlers. They need to get better talent on television. And the other thing you need to do is the big rumor that's going around. Sign another big name talent. And they're going to sign that big name talent come the summer. It's going to be Rob Van Dam. Is that like for sure? Or? From what is coming out of Van Dam's camp, from what I'm hearing through the grapevine... Yes, he's going to leave WWE. Has he said it personally lately? Or no? Um, I, he, he hasn't talked to me about it. I haven't talked to him. I haven't talked to him since... Before he shut his uh, store down? Or? Yeah, I, I haven't talked to him since One Night Stand last year. I haven't talked to him since before that. It's been a long time since I talked to Robbie. That's shocking. I know. <laughs> it really is. It's kind of sad. But it's the way it is. Um, what do you think of the proposed outcome of WrestleMania that Batista will end The Undertaker's undefeated streak? No way. No. no way. And if they do, it sucks. Undertaker needs to retire undefeated at WrestleMania. Ooh. He needs to retire what? I don't know. What? I think it actually kind of might be a... Ooh. Sorry. Ashley Speed saver. <laughs> I got distracted by women. Um, 
Now I really hope I'm wrong to say either. Tell me about Undertaker and Batista. Undertaker should retire and defeat at WrestleMania, and I, you were like, no. Okay. I completely forgot because of Ashley. All right, if you could take five people from WWE and put them in TNA, who would they be and why? Rob. Because he'll be showcased better. Really? Uh, because they aren't showcasing Angle better than Angle. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Angle's being showcased ten times better than he was before. They're before making him out to be... be an asshole just like... No, he's not being an asshole anymore. You haven't watched Impact lately, so be fair. You haven't watched Impact the last few weeks. Christian? Christian Cage. Yeah, Christian Cage is much better off of WWE. I agree. But he's a world champion in TNA. Oh my god, Laura! No! Ah! 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 Don't scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Answer that thing! Where is he? <sighs> oh, it's right there. I was like, what the hell? Ninji. Ninji called. <laughs> Wait a minute. You muting it? No, I'm turning it off. <laughs> there we go. Did All we right. finish that one? We did finish that one. No, no, no. Back, back, back to my spot. Now. Back to your spot. <laughs> back to your spot, Lee. He didn't Don't. want me to be alone. <laughs> That's right. Um, I would send Rob to TNA. I would send Monty Brown back to TNA. Or Marcus Corvon, whatever you Why? want to call him. He's useless. He should be in TNA. Um, Why do you think they brought him there in the first place? Or not? I don't know why they brought him to WWE, to be honest with you. If he's just going to be one of the new breeders and just be there and not doing anything. TNA can showcase him better. TNA can make him a world champion. Do you think they tried to bring him just so they can get more ratings? Because, because he's on TNA. He's, yeah. yeah, on TNA. Yeah. He's exactly. good That's on TNA. What? Yeah, I think so. Um, so, Rob Van Dam, Marcus Corvon, um, three more. Let's see. I don't remember the question. It's five guys from WWE to TNA. Great Khali, just so it goes away from WWE. Oh my God. Um, MVP, same reason. <laughs> and no, Kennedy stays. I love Kennedy, but since Shane's saying Kennedy, we'll say Kennedy. All right, thank you very much, Shane. That means you don't want to be <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Who will be the next WWE? This is from Nene. Nene. Hey. Hey. Nene. Say hi to Carmelo Anthony and uh, Alan Iverson. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, not the guy from the Denver Nuggets? Oh, not that name? Not that name. Different name. Sorry, I'll shut up now. That's yeah, okay. All right. Okay, I had a blonde moment because I don't know what the fuck you're talking That's about. That's basketball. Basketball stuff. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> who will be the next WWE star to jump to TNA? Rob Van Dam. Wait, and what? Who will be the next WWE star to jump to TNA? Okay. Rob Van Dam. And TNA star to jump to WWE? Ooh. I think if any TNA star is going to jump to WWE right now... If Joe? he doesn't win the world championship soon, it's going to be slow, Joe. I really think so. I want... It's going to really sound biased, but I want either AJ or Daniels. But AJ, or AJ will never, AJ will never work for WWE. He said what that about times. Saban? Has Saban? Well, Saban has never said anything, but they won't showcase him properly. They, they'll put him in the cruiserweight division and bury him in obscurity with the other cruiserweights. Alex? Same thing. Loki? Same thing. Or Senshi. Whatever. He'll be Loki at PWG in the next, the next couple weeks. That's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited about that. I'm so Loki excited. versus Joe. That's a dream match right there, people. We're gonna, and we got it here at SoCal. Yeah. I can live without the Joe, but... Yeah, you don't like Joe. You think he's an asshole. You do. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Just, just my personal... Personal? Per... My personal presence. <laughs> It's my personal presence! It's my personal presence! <laughs> She's lost it. What's that saying? What's that? What's the saying? Hall of Flame. No, her saying when things have gone like They've this. gone butt fucking. Hey, it's mine. <laughs> Too bad. Take my life. You're sitting here cracking up. I can do whatever I want. It's gone butt fucking. Okay. On my behalf. This is from Run to the Hills. 
Do you know any wrestler that has a MySpace or an MSN? I know several wrestlers that have a MySpace, but I'm not telling you. I we know indie, we know. We know indie, WWE, WWE. TNA. I have a WWE wrestler in my top 20, uh, 16, whenever I have top 16, whenever I have top 20. 24. Uh, do I have 24? I think so. Oh, I have 24. So. RSA, RSI's top. RSA, huh? RSA, yeah. Ringside Action Magazine. You can find that in the archives of Noah Dominus' site. John Butt Bucky. John Butt Bucky. Um, I have Ashley in my top pages and in RSI's top pages. So. I have her on my list. I just don't have her on my top. Well, she should be. My friends are on my top. She's not my friend. She's a Playboy cover girl. She deserves to be in everybody's top. She's hot, but she's never she introduced is. herself to me, so I'm not. Have you seen that? Have you seen the Playboy? No. I should have brought it. Wait a minute. Who? Ashley's Playboy. No, no. Oh. I should have brought it. She has it in her house. So when, 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 nice. when, you, when you drop us off tonight, I'll, I'll, take, I'll show it to you. Okay. And is wrestling as fake as they say? Run to the hills? You're a dumbass. No. Um, wrestling is choreographed. We all know that. But most of it is very real. The outcomes are predetermined. That's about it. Which I'm shocked that I love it now. Heavy. This is from Heavy. Which totally just ignored me. What'd you say? Sorry. <laughs> Of steel. And I did that with chains. Damn, baby. He's kinky. <laughs> Ew. So kinky. Ew. 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 Oh my god, that was so gross. That was just <laughs> ah, That was so gross. Yes. No. It was gross when you were watching it last week. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. That wasn't me. Oh. I think we went too it far. Was with <laughs> <laughs> it was Jamie. <laughs> and Beth. No. Hey. Hey now. Hey now. What's going on in that room? Josh. Hey now. No, no, Josh. He's retired. Josh retired. Yeah. This is from Heavy. What hotel will the WWE be staying in Detroit for WrestleMania 23? A big one. A big Wait, I one. didn't even hear the question because I coughed. Which hotel will WWE be staying at for WrestleMania 23? Why would we know that? Why would we care? Why would we care? We're not going to be in Detroit. We're no DQ. We, we know everything. We're no DQ. We know everything. Okay, no. We know where TNA stays in Florida because we've been there. <laughs> but we don't know where WWE stays. I just gave you like the most blank look. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is from the Rated R Dropout Star. <laughs> I like that. Do you feel the way I do? If WrestleMania, at WrestleMania, if both the Raw and SmackDown champions stay the same, the WWE will lose many, many <laughs> fans, me being one of them. <laughs> so you're saying, okay, so he's saying if Cena and Batista both retain, that WWE will lose many, many fans. Not any more fans they already have lost, honestly. I mean, their product is not up to par right now, but Batista is not going to retain. They're, it's not going to happen. Batista will lose the world championship. So, it doesn't matter. But, John Cena right now, I mean, the only reason I think, I think, personally, that he's big is because of the movie. Because of the Marine. He was big before the movie, though. He was getting booed before the movie. Right, but what I'm saying so, is... Not really. He was he he, he was, was over. Okay, he was he, he was, was over. He, he just wasn't a baby face. Yeah, he, he was get, he was big because he was getting you know attention, but the fact he was getting negative attention, not positive. Now he's getting positive. Right. But I think that's only because of the movie. They saw the softer side of John Cena, and so they're like, "Oh, he's so cute and uh, just it's like I do." Huh? And uh. Oh, uh. Okay. I did the wrong hand movement. I get chastised. Yeah, you did the one instead. That's shot to sense of the flesh right there. There you go. Anyway. Six, six. Six. We're on the beast. I don't know, bro. I'm a free man. Oh, God. Sorry. Went into Rocky mode. Went into Rocky it's Saturday. Mode. It's, it's Saturday. It really is. Ow! <laughs> you just poke yourself in the eye? Did you just seriously poke yourself in the fucking eye? <laughs> oh my god!
With you. <laughs> I need sleep. You need to do it. Thank you. I poke it. Yay. You poke it. Yay. Yay. Ooh, Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> I love my screens here. Yep. WWE.com's Daily Diva rocks, by the way. Another Kelly, Ooh. Kelly. I'm going to look back at that one. There we go. No, oh, the other one. I like the shiny. Shiny Petey. Yeah, okay. and the pink crotch. Yeah, and the pink crotch. Ooh, that sounds worse than it is. Oh, <laughs> that's what he said. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this is from Free Mr. Bailey on MySpace. Would you like to see the Briscoe Brothers in TNA as well as the Kings of Wrestling? Since Jade's going, huh? Who the hell is that? I'll explain. The Briscoe Brothers are a great tag team in Ring of Honor. I believe Ring of, Ring of Honor and the Kings Wait. of Wrestling is Claudio Casanova. Isn't the and first couple there's the blonde long hair? Or no, I'm thinking other ones. Huh? You're thinking of somebody else. What do I think? I don't know. The long blonde guys. Really, sh like really skinny guys. The really young, the, the young bucks guys. I don't know if they're young. They don't look. They didn't look that young. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. They anyway. were at um. Anyway, I, I, they were at the place that I. Like, freaked out and marked out for Rob. <laughs> oh, UPW? Yeah. That's the Ballard Brothers. That, okay. <laughs> no, they're not young. No, Gotta bless them. All right, anyway. The Briscoe Brothers are a great tag team. They're competing Ring of Honor on the East Coast. I'd love to see them in Tana. I'd love to see them get a chance at the World Tag Team titles. And the Kings of Wrestling, we know very well. Chris Hero and Claudio Castanogli. I'd love to see them get a shot in TNA as well. That'd be awesome. Chris Hero's hot. Let's see. That's sweet. Who was that lady on TNA that got the best to leave Sting? Did you watch Impact? Did you yeah, see that? I did see it. I'm pretty sure it's Abyss's mom. Yeah. It has to be. I mean, it's 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 it could be his real mom, too. The, the eyes look the same. Yeah, they do. It? They really do. J again, Jade's going, what? I didn't see Impact. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's Abyss's mom. I'll show you the tape later, honey. I promise. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Did uh, she finally calm him down? Yeah. Basically, Abyss was teaming with Sting, mm -hmm. which is like, what the fuck? But yeah, they were a yeah. tag team. And Wait, no, because he's kind of been mentoring him, hasn't he? He's been trying to, but like, he's, he's basically trying to save Abyss from the evil Jim Mitchell. Right. Jim Mitchell finally came back out and brought... Oh, did he? And brought this old woman out where you think it's Abyss's mom. And lured him to the back. And they were like hugging backstage as TNA went off the air. Oh. So we think it's oh. Abyss's mom. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go through and pick out some good ones because there's a lot of questions here. I'm going to get to the Trish questions really well. Actually, you know what? We'll do that next show. I wanna do, I'm, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do two shows. We'll, we'll do two shows. We'll do two <laughs> shows today. Okay. There's rumors that WWE will sign Raven again. What's your opinion on that? Do you think he'll sign with them again? Do you think if he gets put on ECW, which is pretty much a certainty, they'll just be used as a jobber like some of the originals have been lately? If Raven goes back to WWE, it'll be the end of Raven's career. I think he's, like, slowly dying. Raven? He looks like he's dying. <laughs> yeah, I know. He really does. Um, I don't think they'll re-sign him. I don't think WWE wants to sign Raven again. That's just my opinion. But if 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 he does go back, he could be the one that helps ECW get back over. I don't know. It Isn't want he to a troublemaker though? No. 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 Not that I know. Of. I don't know. He just seems like the kind of person that would be a troublemaker. Let's see. When will the tag team titles mean something again? The WWE tag team titles mean something again? I think they mean something right now. Lennon and Kendrick doing a great job as champions. They're doing an awesome job. Yeah. I mean, even the match last night was. Pretty awesome I get to before see SmackDown. I, uh, I get to see SmackDown, so. Before I turned it off and played SmackDown vs. Raw. Good for you. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Instead of watching it, I was part of it. Like you Don't said, watch it, live it. That's right, okay. Well, this is from Wade. Wade did. When did this show jump from audio to video and come to NoDQ.com? Um, basically, we well, decided. Figured out I was sucked on the night. Yeah, we pretty much figured out Jade's not a very good audio person and we wanted to do a video show, so we just said. That on the first show. We did? Okay, well, there's, go back and watch the first show. And don't think I forgot about the Royal Rumble DVD. I have a huge surprise for you that's coming in the mail in the next two weeks. Trust me. Yay! Okay. So, yes. Okay. I've been I've been looking for All right. that. So, you know. that's it for episode number... Ugh, Jesus. Two. He just sounds reverted. <laughs> he does. He's a little dirty. Oh, yeah. oh God, stop. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. I, I have no voice. What Ew. can I say? Ew. No Ew. <laughs> All right. So that's episode number two of Ringside Insanity. 
Jane Hogan, Jeff Meacham, next time, I promise. I will talk more. Next time, Jane will talk more, <laughs> and next time, the Trish, shut up. the Trish questions will be answered. We have Trish's answers right here in bold. Look, there they and are. And they're about to smack Ooh, there they are. We have them, and we'll cover WrestleMania, I promise. Next time. <laughs>